At this time of writing, one of our most successful videos on our channel looks at the Yokosuka Oka, the Cherry Blossom. This kamikaze piloted aircraft was fitted with a huge warhead and was dropped onto allied ships to cause maximum damage. However, it wasn't just the Oka that was deployed by the Japanese in kamikaze form to inflict huge losses on the allies. Today, we look at the Shinyo, the Japanese suicide kamikaze motorboat. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. The Second World War from 1943 was turning against the Japanese. Because of this, the Japanese High Command decided to adopt the idea of using suicide craft to wreak as much damage onto the American ships and soldiers as possible. In fact, we did a whole video on the kamikaze in these pilots, however the suicide missions did apply to other parts of the Japanese military, such as the Navy and not just the Air Force. From the spring of 1944, the Japanese Navy began working on special attack boats. The Navy Development Program was under the jurisdiction of the 4th section of the Navy Technical Department at Yokosuka in Japan. The design of the Shinyo suicide boat was kept remarkably simple so they could be built in large numbers. The more suicide ships they had for example, the more problems they could cause the Americans. After a number of prototypes were made, the first production example of the Shinyo, also known as Quaking Sea, Type 1 crash boat was completed on the 27th of May 1944. Later modifications were made to different Shinyo attack craft, however the Shinyo was different to many purpose-built suicide attack weapons. Some of the Shinyo boats were equipped with rocket launchers and additional firepower to use on the approach to their target. They first saw combat in the Philippine Islands during autumn of 1944. The Type 5 Shinyo would be made later, which was equipped with two engines for a greater speed and also machine guns for greater firepower. These boats were then subsequently meant to lead the other Type 1 boats in attacks. However, what would happen during a Shinyo attack? Well, these fast boats, which could get up to a speed of around 30 to 35 miles per hour, would be driven by one man. One man who was willing to die for the Empire and his love for Imperial Japan. In fact, the deed of dying for your country was alleged to instill great pride into your family upon your death, relinquishing them of any shame that they had. They were typically equipped with a bow-mounted charge of up to 300 kilograms of explosives. This huge bomb could then be detonated by either impact as in crashing into a ship or by a manual switch in the driver's area. As mentioned before, some of the suicide vessels were also equipped with anti-ship rockets on either side of the boat behind the driver. A quote from the US Naval Archives recounts what a Shinyo attack would have been like. It reads, On the surface of the water, it took the form of Shinyo, a small special attack boat which utilised the explosive charge in its bow by ramming the side of the intended victim. These motorboats were collected in special attack basins along the coast or carried on motherships. Such suicide craft were manned by middle school boys of 15 or 16 years of age. It is reported that a supply of volunteer pilots was obtained because of special privileges, early responsibility, fast promotion and the promise of a posthumous monetary award to the volunteers' parents. So this shows that the captains of the boats were often extremely young and even teenagers in some cases. The average age of a trainee who began training in August 1944 with the Shinyo was just 17. Once the bomb was detonated in one of two ways, the devastation could be huge. One attack on the USS Hutchins did major damage to its hull, and also the explosion damaged the destroyer's engine and injured many sailors. However, miraculously, no one was killed. Allegedly, the bomb blast was so large that it blew all of the water out from under the ship, to the point where all you could see was walls of water around the side of the boat. In fact, during this attack, it was even said that there were fish all over the deck following the explosion. Over 6,000 Shinyo boats were built, and in total 21 Allied ships were either damaged or sunk by suicide boats. There was also another type of craft though, the Maruni. This was used by the Japanese as well, and these were not actually suicide boats, but were equipped with two depth charges, and the idea was to drop the depth charge and then turn around before the explosion took place. The chances of the boat and crew surviving this was extremely slim, however a few did survive this almost certain death, for they had only around 6 seconds before the charges exploded. Around 1100 suicide craft were transported to the Philippines, 400 to Okinawa and Formosa, and smaller numbers to Korea, Shanghai, Hong Kong and Singapore. 
The vast majority of these were stored along the shores of coastal Japan, ready for defending the country against the expected invasion of the home islands. They scored with limited success in the Philippines and in Okinawa, and the naval general staff expected around a 10% hit for the Shinyos which wasn't very good when you consider that 9 out of every 10 of these would fail and the young captain on board would subsequently die as well. They were usually met with heavy gunfire from allied ships and PT boats which stopped most of them. Some were also lost in transit, were destroyed in accidents or were even strafed and sunk by American aircraft. So overall the Shinyo boat was not the most successful, however how do you measure success when it comes to kamikaze vehicles? Well the Imperial Japanese Army would have you believe it's when the craft crashes into a vehicle or the enemy. However it's important to consider the captain behind the Shinyo boat, for these were just often young men who had believed in the spun myth of dying for your empire which was considered the greatest honour. The Shinyo really is a sad story of military desperation. Once again thank you for watching, to support our channel please make sure to subscribe. Once again thank you for watching.